I'm James Johnson, and you're watching Niagara Pro Tips. In the previous video, we talked about using relative ORDs with web charts. Today, I want to talk about another option for specifying the data sources, which is to use a B ORD list. And this can give you more flexibility, particularly if the history data is coming from different devices in the station or different networks in the station, and you're trying to maybe embed a PX view with a web chart that has a certain collection of histories associated. In the station here, I have a web chart that is showing data from a particular AHU device currently. And this is under our BACnet network, under Air Handler 1. And we have a, a number of points here, which all have uh, histories associated with them, like the um, room CO2 uh, has an interval history, outdoor temperature uh, has a numeric interval history uh, on it, and so forth. So lots of the data points underneath the air handler device have those. And in the PX view, have a uh, web widget with the web chart, and it has the uh, general kind of slot colon uh, relative ORD, which is pointing to the device, and then it's mapping in up to the first 10 histories from that device. We've already talked about some other ways to um, do multiple WBV bindings and that sort of thing as well. Well, another option is to go to the slot sheet uh, on some component in the station, and we can add a slot of type uh, B ORD list. And you can see I already have one here. Uh, called chart ORDs, but the idea is you can uh, right click and choose add slot or control A is the shortcut and uh, the uh, slot name would be whatever you chose like my chart ORDs and then the type would come from the Baja module and it would be an ORD list not just an ORD. Now uh, when you add um, that property it'll show up as uh, you know the property name and the type Notice um, I've added this multi-line equals true facet here, and I'll just show you what the difference is real quick looking at the property sheet view. So when you add the multi-line facet and set it to true, that's going to make the field editor be a multi-line field editor with the plus and, and uh, X icons here for adding and deleting ORDs from the field editor. Otherwise, you just get a single line here, which is kind of difficult to enter multiple ORDs into, or at least to see them. So what you want to do there is uh, on that slot sheet, then um, you're going to uh, right click on that uh, ORD and go to um, the uh, config facets. Now, I guess that's probably off screen on uh, the, the video, but if you right click, you'll see there's config facets here. So I'm going to right click on this, my chart ORDs and select the config facets, which brings up the facet editing dialog. And then I'll add a new facet and you can pick uh, from the key here and it's going to be the multi-line facet. Now that goes ahead and defaults to the Boolean type and a false value. So I just set the value to true and hit OK. So that adds that facet. Now when I take a look at the property sheet view again, uh, we'll see that uh, this my chart ORDs also has that multi-line facet editor. And you can uh, add ORDs here uh, by clicking on the plus symbol, which opens up an ORD selection dialog. And then you can use that to pick components or histories or, or uh, whichever that you're trying to uh, map to here. So in this case, I could go under uh, the BACnet network to floor one, air handler one uh, points, and then select the outdoor temp, which happens to have you know chart view associated with it. So that allows me to add those items into uh, the B ORD list. And I can specify up to 10 ORDs here, which are obviously absolute ORDs and not relative ORDs in this case. In the PX graphic, then what we can do is instead of pointing the WB view binding to slot colon or something like slot colon point slash room temp or uh, whatever other ORDs, I can use the component chooser here and go select uh, that uh, air handler de device in this case and then it has the chart ORDs property uh, on it that I added which is the B ORD list. So I'll pick that chart ORDs property now and the binding is pointing to that property which has the list of ORDs that I want it to display in the chart. So the chart will then load uh, with all of those ORDs uh, specified in the B ORD list. 
and it should show me um, five, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five here. And I can look at the, uh, well, I'd have to get into runtime mode, I suppose, uh, to, to see the uh, um, config uh, option in the web chart here. And then we can see the series that are being displayed. So these are the five series which are specified in that BORD list. Now, if I go edit the BORD list and maybe remove this outdoor temperature from it again, so now I only have four. Uh, then if I refresh, we should see that the um, chart only contains uh, four histories now. And because there's enough real estate, it's actually showing the, the title here in the legends, or I can use the, the gear icon to look at the configuration and see. So the, the BORD list uh, wouldn't uh, be as flexible maybe when you have, say, repetitive type devices like VAVs or air handlers, where you're probably better off using uh, relative ORDs. However, uh, if you have histories that are a collection from different devices or different networks within the station, then adding a BORD list property to a component in the station and then building up that list will allow you to embed a web chart with just that filtered list of histories maybe that you're interested in displaying. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video and please stay tuned to the Tritium YouTube channel for other videos.